So we're gonna go ahead and hit the power button here and see what happens. All right, so uh, we've got our outside and inside units installed here. Uh, I had to shorten the wiring harness and also the AC hoses. Had to do a little crimping operation here. So we've had a vacuum on this uh, for about two or three hours now. It's held pretty solid at um, 22 inches HG. So I think that's pretty good, pretty stable. Nothing's leaking. So that's how we leak test these lines in the inside unit. This unit's already pre-charged. It's the only thing you have to do. This is kind of the same if you ever put one of the home units in. I've put a lot of the resi you know, residential commercial home units in. We put a couple of them here at the building. Uh, pretty well the same process. I mean, everything's the same. I mean, even a lot of the parts are the same. So, like I said, the compressor's already pre-charged. So I feel pretty comfortable with these numbers that there's no leak. So I'm going to go ahead and pressurize the system now by opening up these valves. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is take this guy loose right here which I, use, I usually just do these hand tight, but in the, uh, I wanted to make sure that there was no, everything was tight and no leaks anywhere. That's why I used a uh, channel lock, tighten them a little tighter. So we're all good there. Um, the only thing I don't like about these systems that all this stuff is quarter inch versus five sixteenths, which is your automotive standard, uh, you know, all your hookups on. I had to go actually buy a commercial heating and cooling manifold to be able to, to, to suck these down and make sure everything was good um, versus like your standard automotive one, all the fittings and hoses are five sixteenths, so they won't work, unfortunately. All right, uh, we're going to go ahead and open these valves up. So we've got all of our caps on, everything's opened up, don't hear any leaks, smell any leaks, anything like that, which like, again, we had vacuum on it for about three hours, so feel pretty good about everything. The last piece of the puzzle here, we're going to jump down off of here. I've got all the batteries wired up, but I still have to just make my ground connection for the unit, um, and we'll have it powered up and go ahead and commission this thing. Okay, uh, so before we make our connection here, like I said, I've already put in a 100 amp uh, mega fuse. That's already, uh, you know, in series here, up, going up to the unit. We've hooked up all of our batteries here in parallel, which basically means all the positives are in a series and all of the negatives are in a series. So that way we have 12 volt. These can be, I think these batteries can go up, you can put them in series and you can get them up to like 48 volts, I believe, if necessary, 24 or 48. Um, but obviously for our purposes on a truck, uh, 12 volts is the standard. So uh, just to make sure everything's right before we connect anything, we always want to make sure we do have 12 volts here at the ends. We're going to make our connection and we're at 13.2, so a little bit higher than a normal. Like I said, these are lithium batteries. Um, this is my first experience with them. Uh, this is all new, new uh, whole new project for us here. So. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and make this connection. Um, I feel good about everything, and we'll see if this thing works. Um, the other feature that we've put into this system is a uh, battery isolator, or smart battery isolator, or bipolar, bi-stable relay. Uh, this is a 300 amp unit. So what this does is basically isolates this bank of batteries from your starting batteries, uh, because you don't want this to be able to draw down your starting batteries and then next thing you know you've ran your batteries all your batteries down and you can't start your truck so what this does this has a cut in and cut out so it'll charge you know off of your alternator and, and the other batteries once these batteries get drawn down to a certain level it cuts this off so it doesn't draw from the starting batteries so that's pretty well pretty common feature you're going to see on most of these types of systems so there is a ground for the uh, battery isolator Right here. 
Okay, and we are connected. So the only thing we have left to do outside once everything's confirmed and working is uh, we'll have to go ahead and get all this tied up and uh, get this cable and uh, condensation line uh, all tied up out here so that ain't moving around. Uh, the other thing I have to leave a little slack out here for your cab bounce as well. Uh, so other than that, uh, let's go inside and turn this thing on and see if it works. Okay, so here's our uh, indoor unit, all self-contained. Uh, we actually mounted, there's a, a wood board here that came with this kit, which uh, we're going to probably improve that in the future going down the road with newer units. And I've got a couple of design ideas how we're going to do that going forward. And so we've actually bolted this uh, wood plate basically all the way through to the outside unit so it clamps. Um, and then instead of drilling... 15 holes in your cab, we just went ahead and used wood screws and screwed this unit right to this wood, uh, wood backing so that like, again, that way you don't have a bunch, if you ever take the unit out or something happens, you don't have a bunch of holes in your cab. You just have the two basically mounting holes for the whole system. Uh, all the lines came through right here, harness, the two AC lines and the condensation line. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the power button here and see what happens. Oh well. High speed. <laughs> so, uh, pretty good fan flow. <laughs> and this is actually in Celsius right now, so I'm not not very good on Celsius, but I got it set to 16. Celsius right now. It's putting out pretty cold air. We'll have to get a thermometer and actually see what the uh, output of the air is. Well, it works. <laughs> okay, well, so we're back outside. Uh, the unit's running on full blast in there. And uh, as you can see, pretty quiet. Uh, only thing, you know, you got the condenser fan out here running. Uh, so pretty pretty quiet unit, a lot quieter than your traditional uh, like uh, carrier diesel or their Thermo King tri-pack unit. Um, so if you're looking for something a lot quieter, less vibration and all that, uh, could be a good option for you. All right, so we've been running here for about 20 minutes. I uh, just wanted to kind of check the temperatures and everything. I got a uh, digital thermometer here. I don't know what I do with my little probe one, uh, but we'll see what we got coming out. So right there actually, on the coils, 29, 28 degrees Fahrenheit. Actually as low as 26. And, uh, down here on the bottom, about 38 degrees. Yeah, so we're on the other end of the coil in the uh, mid 30s. So, but nice, nice, cool, good, good, real good airflow. I mean, you can feel it all the way up in the front of the cab, all that by the windshield. See so everything's blowing around. So, uh, so we're gonna let it, let it run for a couple hours here and uh, see the perform, check the performance of the batteries, and you know, get this thing wrapped up and out of here, and uh, hopefully have some people in for some more. <laughs> All right, hi everybody, uh, Ryan here. So uh, we're kind of rounding off uh, our, our uh, installation of this new EPU or APU AC system featuring uh, the lightning volt lithium batteries from Road Warrior. Uh, really light, uh, they're only like 22 pounds a piece, guys. So here in this box, you're even including the box, you're probably under 120 pounds of weight here. Our AC unit up there is roughly 50 pounds. With the inside and outside unit, maybe a little bit more, um, not too much more of that. Probably the whole system here is under 200 pounds. We've had it running here for about two or three hours. Uh, we just shut it off a little bit ago, but uh, everything's running good, uh, no leaks, uh, puts out good cold air, uh, you know, mid thirties Fahrenheit cold air. So yeah, like I said, we're finishing up this first installation here. got a couple other loose ends to tie up, but basically the uh, AC unit's done, the battery box is done. Only thing I gotta do is make my connections up in the front at the starting batteries for our uh, charging circuit back here uh, for when the truck's running. 
Um, but overall, pretty satisfied with it uh, for a first install. You know, we had a couple hiccups here and there, had to source different stuff. But other than that, uh, I'm pretty happy with how everything went here. So if this is something you're interested in, please check out our website or give us a call. All of our business information is always listed in the uh, description below. So check that out. We are now uh, officially taking reservations. We should have pricing, firm pricing together as of probably the posting of this video. So we're gonna get all that done tonight. So hopefully we have all that information out to you guys if anybody's interested. So, uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, there are a couple of highlights during the video here of the uh, installation and testing. Check that out, um, or if you haven't already. So uh, that's pretty much all I got for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell for the updates and like the video. And, and again, um, if you're interested in something like this, check our website out or give us a call.